You think they'll demonetize us for singing the Beach Boys? Engineer 775 here with Aber Doodle. We are, uh, we are uh, off grid, way off the grid location today. Starting a little installation here of a Solar 12K, a Fortress E Vault, E Flex battery, sorry. There will be a generator eventually hooked here. And we're expanding this, we're designing this for multiple inverters and several batteries. But we're gonna start off just getting this um, place power and water. They just drilled a well, and we're gonna be putting in an 86 gallon bladder tank, bringing water in through here. Well's just about five feet from the outside wall. So the goal here is water, power, and uh, the solar is very interesting. I'll show you that in a second. It's all broken solar panels. So I think, I don't know what we're gonna call this job. Broken solar panel, broken panel, off-grid broken panel. We'll come up with something, you'll know. Obviously you'll know. And uh, so we're just getting set up for the solar, and I better get, get going here. So here's the solar field that uh, customer went ahead and built some wooden frames individually mounting each panel. And uh, we're gonna have to do some uh, creative solar in here. We're gonna put a disconnect box here, pull box, two IMO disconnects, and start figuring out how we're gonna do the strings. All these panels are broken and some of them are really boat broken. Um, so we're gonna have to test them each, each one of them and see how we can string this together to maximize the use of this solar array. There's 30 panels made up of Trinas and Jcos and Jinkos, I think, not Jcos. And we're gonna figure this out. And then we're gonna pull, there's a conduit nicely already put in for us, so that's cool. But uh, I don't know, I don't know what gonna find out it's a large enough array you probably could just leave them flat here where we're located it's very sandy kind of gives it away so you kind of know where we are anyway we're gonna get to work it's been really nice having the service body truck and not working out of the, my my gooseneck hauler so sometimes we deploy both trucks now we got a job like this where we don't need the excavator. We just bring the, the work truck. So nice. It's taking me a long time to get to this point. Just wouldn't give up driving a nice pickup truck, but this is just a nice, a nice move. This has been really good. All right, enough of that, get to work. There goes my truck. What's up, bro? Keep turning. <laughs> There's some big bucks around here. You hunt rabbits? Hunt rats. <laughs> All right, we're day two, and we're trying to figure out how we're going to string this field of broken panels together. So the customer made all these pressure treated racks individually mounted the panels did a heck of a lot of work and uh we're just kind of in here we're just trying to make something of it in terms of making power so we've got some uh we've got our pull box already landed in with the solar arc our wires already pulled in and so we're gonna bring our uh I think we're gonna do, there's 40 panels here. We're probably gonna do four strings of nine. I can't do four strings of 10 because I'll be violating the MPPT voltage when it's cold. So uh, the string calculator says, uh, I'm on the edge with 10, so I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna do four strings of nine. We're gonna parallel the two strings of nine together and then uh, lander in the IMOs. And so I'm just testing right now. I'm just uh, putting a voltmeter on each panel and seeing how we're doing so far. So good. Uh, wire management, maybe none. And then we're gonna run a bond wire, bonding wire and some, probably on the leading edge of these panels and try to get them all bonded together. So, that's interesting as well. Well, this is where we got to, day one, half a day with travel time. 
We've got a critical loads panel, a Solar 12K, and one Fortress E-Flex. So we're starting off minimally, but we have a lot of room to expand with batteries here. We're just trying to get the system up and working for the customer, and eventually he's going to have to have another inverter for all the plans. So we'll probably put another Solar over here, and maybe a combiner panel, or maybe we'll combine in this panel. We haven't figured that one out yet. We have a generator um, transfer switch here, a couple of the PDBs in there for the generator bypass, and uh, just got to land the E-Flex on the combiners inside the wiring trough, and there's our solar home run there. So what we're doing is, uh, this morning, is just trying to get some power, get this thing fired up, get that battery charging, because we got to put a well pump in and a bladder tank over on the other side of this building so kind of a cool building underground for half or three quarters of it, it gets real hot here so nice to have most of it underground all right so let's get to work we gotta wire up this array yeehaw Aber doodle wiring up doomsday solar a bunch of busted panels here the j boxes on this side are on the low part so we're not so every time we pick what panel we got a twist here so these this j box is on the high side so i think this is actually a little easier except he's got to crawl on his belly just turned this solar on made some battery settings and it's pretty cold in here so BMS is probably dealing with that. Just one fortress. We're gonna, I don't wanna say limp along, but we're not gonna get full solar capability with one battery. But we are charging. I feel bad, but I kinda knew this wasn't gonna go too well based on the shape of these panels. Anyway, we hooked up solar today, two strings of nine, and uh, we never made over a thousand watts. And so that's with, about 6,000 watts of solar on a super cool, perfectly blue sky day. This is the kind of day we had. Just clear as a bell. Anyway, we kind of knew it. Um, hopefully, kind of letting the customer down a little bit slow, but um, just when you have panels that are just cells that are busted, busted, you just have um, shorts going on and and then uh, it's just not going to be good if it rains. So this will, this is actually was able to charge the lithium battery today. But again, it was perfect solar day. Never made more than a kilowatt at the peak. We turned on a well pump and it did not respond or match the load. So it it is, uh, this will allow him to limp along. He can get water, charge the battery, run some lights but it's not what he planned on it. So we're uh, we're gonna have to regroup with him and come up with a, we'd just love to come down here and build him a beautiful ground mount. So maybe we'll do that one day. We can salvage a lot of what we did in terms of our disconnects and home runs, but this did not work out. This uh, doomsday solar. Um, so anyway, so if you think you're getting a good deal, sometimes you're not getting a good deal getting panels that are free or close to free um, even if the voltage is check out it's like a good it's like a battery that tests out the voltage is fine but as soon as you put a load to it it's uh, it's done so anyway be careful with uh, investing in or having somebody try to sell you some a really good deal on broken panels because we've got panels with holes in them and it's like meteors hit them um, so, but we're going to go ahead and wire up another 18 of them tomorrow at the customer's request, because I said I would, and we'll have 36 panels coming in here, maybe making two kilowatts peak out of 12,000 watts. So not a good move. We will uh, work on putting a, a new ground mount in here, hopefully. Okay. So uh, that's it. We'll, we've been here a day and a half. We got everything up and running. We're pumping water. We're charging batteries. So we will be back tomorrow to try to wrap it up, test things, wire in 18 more panels, and uh, regroup on the farm here. Okay, what has been your experience with broken solar panels? 
Now, I have used them individually to do certain things, but uh, when you're stringing them together, they're only the chain is only as strong as any one of the links. And so this is the problem with stringing together a bunch of busted panels. All right, day three, we're finishing up, doing a little testing with all 36 panels wired together flat. We we're only making about a kilowatt at nine o'clock, but now we're uh, Abraham setting up. And we're still, we got some inner row shading, but it's about to go down, sun's coming up here. And uh, so we got two strings of nine wavy panels. And we got a little bit of shade on this corner. So uh, we'll see if we've increased our power production yet. We are making 2000 watts with the solar as it is. And we're matching the load of the pump and we're still charging the battery. So we got a little bit more out of it today. Oh, drop back down, but it's still matching the load. If you add those two numbers together, it's matching the solar. So the solar is keeping up. So I think you can limp along a little bit.